Yeah, what's good? What's up? What's up? This is the story of Jermaine Carter, aka Red Rum 781, from the Avenue Paru gang. The Avenue Parus originated in the 70s around Crenshaw Boulevard and Van Ness Boulevard between 104th Street to 108th Street. They are noted for being the first gang outside of Compton to represent Paru. Red Rum was born. July 22nd, 1972, in the Bronx, New York. He resided with his mother and young brother there until the age of five, when he relocated to Inglewood, California with his family. Unfamiliar with the new surroundings and because of the infestation of drug dealers, pimps, prostitutes, and game bangers, his mother feared for him and his young brother when they would try to venture outside. Eventually, his younger brother was initiated into the Avenue Paru gang. Being fearful for his little brother's safety, Red Rum soon found himself being initiated into the same gang to protect his young brother. A few years later, Red Rum discovered his gift to write music. He actively started rapping at Morningside High School, winning several talent shows and contests, and he was a battle rapper. He used to go to different schools and battle different rappers. In 1993, he helped co-create Bangin' On Wax with Ronnie Ron Phillips and Tweety Burlock from Kelly Park Compton Crip. Bangin' On Wax was a collaborative piece to help ease tension between the gangs in 1993. The album was a success, making it to 86 on the Billboard 200. Four singles was released. Bangin' On Wax, Paru Love, Crip Crip Crip, and Steady Dippin'. After the success of the Bangin' On Wax album, they followed up with another album the next year in 1994. Bangin' on Wax 2, the saga continues. The album charted 139 on the 200 billboard. After the Bangin' on Wax albums, the Bloods and Crips split up. The Blood members formed Damu Radas and the Crips formed Nationwide Rip Radas. The Damu Radas released two albums, the Damu Radas and How Deep Is Your Hood. Rare Rum also signed with Death Row in 1993 to 1994, and he collaborated with all the artists on the label. He was also on the Murder Was The Case soundtrack with the Young Soldiers. After the death row deal went bad, he kept going. He never let no label stop him from making music. He continued to do his thing over the years. He was on a Rep Your Set album in 2006. And in 2007, he dropped the album called Back Pay. And he released a few mixtapes. In 2009, he dropped Blood Module. In 2010, Stars and Stripes with Apollo Mafia. In 2011, he released The Legend of the Damu Radas, and he had a few guest appearances on a couple albums. He also did a lot of interviews over the years, dropping game and giving out knowledge and speaking out on the things he felt wasn't right. In this clip right here, Rum talks about the industry bloods profiting off the blood image. So all you ones that claim blood, Tsuwu, Paru, Brim, and all this shit, check this out. We know that you niggas ain't real. We know y'all ain't putting no work. We know y'all not gonna put in no work. It's pretty much too late for all that shit. You got your millions, you know, you living your lifestyle, right? But you, you know, you exploiting us, my nigga. You using the Sulu shit is to your advantage. In this clip right here, Ron speaks on the Damu homies beefing with each other. What we gonna do better? When the homies on the West Coast gonna stop tripping with each other? Making ourselves look bad to other homies out of the state. We as West Coast B-Dogs, Pyrus, Damus, Brims, we can't tell other homies out of state that, 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 that they not real bloods and they acting up when the real bloods at home is acting up. The real bloods at home is beefing like the enemy goes. In the next clip is a remix song from Big Y, Future and Red Rum and other Damu rappers called The Be Not For Sale. And he also had an album called Blood Transfusion, and he remixed the song Pyru Love with a lot of Pyru members from all over. The song like 15 minutes long, but it's another slapper. In 2010, he caught a few West Coast rappers out for being frauds. Mac 10, 40 Glock in the game, and his cousin Corrupt from the Dog Pound, and many more. Live on the line with Red Rum 781, exposing the game, Corrupt. Mac 10, 40 Glock, Daz Dillinger. Five years later, Red Rum and Game talked and settled their differences and recorded a song. For years, 
Rom was going back and forth with his relative corrupt. They eventually squashed their beef in this next clip. They was in the same room after all the years of beefing. Album coming soon and the collaboration of the originals. Yeah, Ground Zero. <clears throat> and also... In 2018, Daz and Bosco was going at it online. Then Daz dissed all the Bloods, causing a low-key uproar. Some Bloods was mad, but Rom stepped in and spoke his piece. He showed a lot of growth and maturity as the years went by. Rom was respected from all over. He put a lot of rappers on. He was a legend in the streets. But sadly, on October 30th, he lost the battle to cancer. R.I.P. O.I.G. Red Rum. May God be with your family.